So, President Park's new nomination of a former journalist for Prime Minister Moon chang guk is definitely not among the names that have been mentioned as a potential Prime Minister to be. Now, let's get some analyst analysis for that. That is, we are joined live in the studio by a political commentator, Dr. Lee young -ja. Dr. Lee, thank you for joining us. Yes. Now, first of all, your overall impression of President Park Geun-hye's Prime Minister nomination uh, pick today. I mean, uh, was this in any way expected? What can we read into today's decision? First, this is a surprise. I think everybody was surprised. Uh, there was uh, some expectation that the, uh, somebody from his home re region may be picked, but he was not. Uh, he he was not one of the one of the in the list. Uh, being a journalist, uh, he can talk straight to president. I think that the, then maybe his uh, uh, strongest point. And the president has been accused that the uh, she would not listen to anybody. Uh, so by picking uh, a journalist, she can sort of create an image. I can I will listen to anybody. In fact, that the uh, when she. Uh, was still uh, in the National Assembly, uh, Mr. Moon wrote a piece critical of uh, uh, Ms. at the time Ms. Park uh, be because of uh, lame dog. Uh, power, power is moving from sitting president to next president. And he was saying that that's not a good uh, phenomenon. This was uh, before she was yes, elected th as president. That's right. And so, uh, and, and then this Mr. Moon uh, he has been critical of left and right, more left than right, but he, he, uh, he was quite critical of uh, some of the leftist movement and so on. So he can criticize. He, so I think he can talk straight to President Park. So political neutrality also played a key role in this. But I don't think he will be classified as uh, uh, a neutralist. He will be uh, he will be viewed more as a conservative. Okay. Well, I think she's uh, reaching into a different page from uh, her playbook, uh, President Macron. That is, Very and different. Uh, uh, someone more of a straight arrow this time compared mm. to the previous uh, candidates. So this time, the big question is: Will he endure the test? Uh, he's going to be grilled quite a lot. Uh, he will be uh, grilled for being conservative. Uh, I think what he wrote in the past, he has written many, many pieces in the past, and uh, opposition party people are scrutinizing what, what he uh, uh, has been writing. And uh, perhaps uh, he will be uh, attacked uh, on his views expressed in this writing and that writing. But I don't think that, that will disqualify him. So Unless he is involved in any financial scandal or something. So other than yeah. possible, or rather, we'll, we'll, we'll give him the benefit of the yeah. doubt at this yeah. point. But yeah. some of the, his uh, some of his works in uh, in the past in black and white might come and haunt him today. Mm, but uh, not uh, as as far as uh, there's uh, no scandal, that's fine. I mean, okay. the, his his political view. Uh, should not derail his appointment. So he won't be providing any arsenal weapons to his uh, naysayers. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. uh, let's move on to uh, the president's nomination of uh, Korea, South Korean ambassador to Japan, Lee byung -gi, as mm. her new uh, chief of the National Intelligence Service. Mm. What's mm. your assessment there? That, uh, that is a very excellent move. Uh, in the past, uh, the uh, defense, national security, and national intelligence, those positions were all occupied by the uh, military academy graduates. And so their way of thinking are too homogeneous. Uh, but nowadays they need a more diverse way of uh, looking, at, looking at the world, and the world is so diverse, so they need some diversity. And I hope that the, uh, Mr. Lee will provide that the, uh, badly, badly uh, necessary uh, diversity into national security uh, and defense. Breath of fresh air in the NIS, so hopefully. It will be a tough job for him, though, trying to communicate with all those people with military background. Yeah, but uh, he's been the deputy chief of the uh, service in the past, and so he, he, uh, he has experience. And he's been around. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, the cabinet reshuffle, this looks like uh, a prelude to more things to come. How extensive of a reshuffling can we expect? And what kind of uh, factors should we take into consideration when it comes to the president naming her new uh, ministers? 
Mm, I think he will, uh, she will wait for the uh, approval of a new nominee. Uh, at least uh, they have to take some kind of proper forms. And uh, this uh, prime minister has to uh, make a recommendation to the president and president approves uh, the uh, recommendation and then they will be submitted to National Assembly. So there's a sort of a proper process you have to follow. And uh, being a proper person, uh, President Park uh, will wait for the uh, nomination going through the National Assembly. Well, we definitely hope that this time around it will be all smooth sailing so that we can yeah, actually move so. forward with the state of, of affairs here That's in right. Korea. Yes, Dr. Right. Lee Young-jek, thank you so much for speaking with us this evening. You're